we'll start today's practice in seated with your knees nice and wide. We'll take our forehead down. You can rest it on your fist, pressing your forehead into your fist. If you have a block, you can press your forehead into the block. And we're just going to take a few moments here just to kind of let our body settle, let ourselves relax, and just notice, notice if there's certain areas in your body that feel a little tight. And we'll see if we can kind of create a little bit of space and some change in the physical body. For today's practice, let's take a nice deep breath. Inhale through your nose. And just exhale through your mouth. Again, inhale through your nose. And exhale through your mouth. One more inhale, and exhale. If your hands are in your forehead, you can release them, sending the block out in front of you as well. And place your fingertips up in front of you, lifting them into tripods, and just giving yourself a little rock side to side. Massaging out the hip flexors, kind of feeling it in your shoulders and your lats, and just kind of exploring the body. Let's place our hands nice and flat onto the ground and make sure you're always looking for that opposing force. So fingertips forward as you press your sit bones back, lengthening through the side body. And we'll take our fingertips and walk them over to the right side. Coming back into tripod. And nice long stretch to the left side of the body. Take a nice deep breath in. And exhale. Walk your hands over to the other side. Propping your fingertips up. Right fingertips forward, big stretch through the right side body. Again, and we'll come back to center, fingertips propped up one last time, letting your chest drop between your arms. And again, take a nice deep inhale and big exhale. Let's slowly come up to all fours, placing your hands down, knees underneath your hips and hands underneath your shoulders. We're just going to create a little bit of mobility in our spine. So we'll start by rounding through our upper back, driving the pubic bone forward, pulling your scapula and shoulder blades apart. And exhale, belly drops, eyes lift. Inhale, round. Creating lots of space within your shoulder blades, driving your hands down to the ground. And exhale, round. Inhale. And exhale. Yeah, let's come to a neutral spine. And just take a moment here and just kind of relax out your shoulders. And we'll tuck our toes and give our feet a little bit of a stretch. So pressing your heels down and back, sit bones to your heels, stretching out the arches of your feet. Get it nice and simple coming out. And then again, pressing your sit bones back to your heels, stretching out the arches of your feet. Good, and then coming back to a neutral spine. Let's add those two things together. So inhale, rounding. Exhale, belly drops, eyes lift. Coming to a neutral spine. 
Sitting back, stretching out your feet. Inhale, rounding up. Dropping your belly, lifting your eyes. Neutral spine. And then sit back, stretching out the bottoms of your feet. Let's come up to all fours. Keeping your toes tucked and your hands nice and strong into the ground, let's lift our knees an inch above the mat. Firing up your arms, your core, your legs nice and strong. We'll lift our hips up and back into downward facing dog. And when you're here, I want you to just take a moment and slowly pedal out your heels. Bending your knees one at a time. Great, and then we'll take both heels, press them down, lengthen through the back of the hamstrings and the calf muscle. Relaxing your shoulders and your arms. Placing the majority of the weight in your feet and pressing away with your palms, sit bones to the ceiling. Let's bend our right knee and press your left heel strongly towards the ground. Focusing on that left calf muscle. Take a nice deep breath, inhale. And exhale, length to the left back of the leg. And switch. Right heel down, bending your left knee, focusing in on your right calf muscle. Taking a nice deep breath in, and exhale length to the right side of the body. Let's press both heels down, belly button to spine, sit bones to the back of the room. Good, and lower yourself down into child's pose, so knees down. Let's bring our arms by our side. And just take a moment here just to round your shoulders over top of your thighs. Take a nice deep breath, inhale through your nose. Big exhale. And we'll slowly again come up to all fours. We'll tuck our toes down and lift your knees and hips up and back into downward facing dog again. From here, let's bring our big toes together to touch. Drive both heels down. We're going to place our left heel down and we're going to take this right leg up to the ceiling and just press it back. And then however you can, we'll take this right foot and step it up to the outside of our right hand. Let's think about driving your left heel to the back of the room, arms nice and strong and straight in front of you. Place your right hand on top of your right thigh, pressing down into your thigh and giving yourself a little bit of a spine twist. And slowly lowering your right hand. Let's drop our left knee, untuck your toes, and bring yourself up using your right hand on your right thigh. And driving your hips forward to get a nice stretch in your hip flexor. Think about driving your right knee down, left knee down, and left arm up. Take a nice deep inhale, looking for that opposing force, knee down into the mat, fingertips to the ceiling. And exhale, lower. Place your left hand down, tuck your left toes again, let's twist through our spine, pressing down into your thigh and the mat.
Place your right hand down onto the mat and let's take it back into downward facing dog. Just take a moment here, pedal it out. Bring your big toes together to touch. We'll do the exact same thing on the other side. So drive your right heel down and left leg up to the ceiling. And then we'll step it through to runner's lunge on the left outside hand. Keeping your right leg straight and right arm on the mat, take your left hand on top of your thigh and give yourself a nice twist through the spine. Left hand, bring it down to the mat. Drop your right knee and untuck your toes. Place your left hand onto your thigh and inhale coming up, giving your hip flexor a nice good stretch. Drive your right knee down to the mat and inhale your right arm up. Looking for that nice strong opposing force from your knee to the mat and fingertips to the ceiling. Exhale, lower down your right hand. Tuck your right toes and twist. Good. Place your left hand down to the mat and give yourself a nice big stretch back into downward facing dog again. And already here, you should notice a difference in your body. A little bit more open, a little bit more mobile. Let's drop to our knees and sit back one more time into child's pose with our arms by our side. And just take a moment here and rock side to side. I already feel my hips loosened up from the beginning till now. Let's slowly come up to all fours. Plant your hands flat, knees underneath you. And again, from the beginning. Let's round through our upper back. Drop your belly, lift your eyes. Come to a neutral spine. Tuck your toes, press back into the arches of the feet. And from here, let's lift ourselves up into downward facing dog. Press both of our heels down. Bring your toes together. Take your right leg up to the ceiling. Step it to the outside of your right hand. Place your right hand on your thigh. Give yourself a nice deep twist. Place your right hand down, downward facing dog. Right heel down, left leg up. Step it to the outside of the left hand. Place your left hand on your thigh and twist. Place your left hand down, downward facing dog. and resting onto your knees. Untuck your toes. This time I want you to drop your hips forward. Staying lifted onto your hands and just kind of give your hip flexors a stretch from this direction. So just rocking side to side. Great, and then sitting back into child's pose with your fingertips in front of you. Take a nice deep breath in and exhale. Again, inhale and exhale. 
Now that our hips and back are a little bit more open, let's come up to all fours. We'll place our right knee by our right wrist, turn your foot in, and we'll lower ourselves down into pigeon. Keeping this right foot straight in front of you, let's stay lifted first. Back toe is straight. And then slowly lower yourselves down to your forearms. Should feel a fantastic stretch through your right glute, right inner thigh. Those of you that have a block in front of you, you can bring that block in and rest it on your forehead. As you continue to take a few deep breaths, inhaling through your nose, exhaling through your mouth. And just creating some open space within your hips and your low back. You can stay here. Those of you that are looking for a little bit of a deeper stretch, you can press your left hand down, and then you can take your right hand onto your thigh, giving yourself a nice little twist. So still sitting in pigeon, just a little bit more of a twist. Right, and then untwisting, reaching your right arm forward. And then slowly coming back, a little bit more of a twist again. And slowly reaching forward. Good, and we'll bring our right arm back. Both hands, press them down, lift yourself up. We'll tuck our back toes. And then we'll lift ourselves up into downward facing dog. Pedal out your heels. We'll do the exact same thing on the other side. So driving your left knee into your left wrist, aligning your hips, driving your right toe back. And stay lifted just to start. Take a nice deep breath, inhale through your nose. And then exhale, lower yourself down to your forearms. You can stay here. Those of you that have a block, you can rest your forehead onto the block. And take a nice deep breath in and exhale. You can stay here. Those of you looking for a deeper stretch, you can press your right hand down into the mat. Place your left hand onto your thigh and push away, giving yourself a nice stretch deeper into the glutes and the low back. Take your left hand out in front of you, reaching it a little bit further away. And bring your hand back in for another twist. So pressing onto your thigh, pushing up and away. And exhale, reaching your fingertips forward. Good, and coming back. Placing your hands underneath you. Lifting yourself up, tucking your back toes, and bringing yourself into downward facing dog. Pedal out your heels. Take one more last deep breath. Inhale and exhale. Drive your heels down and back. Just 
Let's slowly lower our knees. Sitting back into child's pose with your arms by your side. One last breath, inhale and exhale. And then slowly round yourself up. Thank you so much for joining me today. This concludes our 20 minute little stretch. If you noticed, you should feel a lot looser in your hamstrings and your hips and your low back.